my check my check one two my hey guys and welcome to another video on me doing a summary on my training and let's uh, let me open up the file for today's episode and this is my training training log of mesocycle one uh if you guys don't understand what mesocycle one is just review it as phase one of my training uh, let me briefly introduce uh, how to read my training log oh by the way uh, if you see me holding a red cloth uh, that is because uh, uh, I can't find a pop filter or I don't have pop filter for my microphone so I just pick a uh, a cloth that plays a similar function as pop filter so that I'm trying to be professional and also I'm trying to um, save money oh by the way by the way I have ordered the microphone and also the legit pop filter so it would be it will be here very about a uh, week, a uh, few weeks later. But since the post office, the local post office, has has ceased to operate um, because the 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 disease outbreak or uh, something something related to that, and the delivery date may be postponed. So. If I have any updates, I will share with you guys. Okay, back to the PDF, my training log. So this log, uh, we called we called five weeks of training, starting from the last day of two thousand and nineteen to uh, the 1st of February wait hold on yes the 1st of February which is today the left let's look at uh, let's take a look of the left side the left side describe my warm-up routine and here we have the mobility and cool down stretches routine this one highlighted highlight highlighted in yellow is my conclusion of uh, this phase of training and I will get into that so don't worry about that and here we have five rows each row uh, records three sessions in a training week so you uh, let's let's pick the first day of training in here the first day of training of this cycle is the last day of 2019 and it is week one here we have i have a uh, one two three four five six seven exercises covering the whole body so uh for the order the order matters because the pull-up is the most challenging exercise for me so I will put them uh, on the first very first order and after I do the pull-ups I do the dips rows push-up squats or step up sorry I uh, didn't include here uh, but I will tell you guys that is step up and the last one will be Romanian deadlift and the last one will be abs wheel and I have that equipment so uh, 
Oh, it is not here right now. But um, uh, if if I if I have chance, uh, I will show you guys this equipment. The next column uh, describes the volume, which is uh, the number of sets and reps. The next one, rest time, tempo, tempo. Um, it tempo describes how fast you do the repetition. So here, one zero x x zero means um, one second for eccentric phrase eccentric phase um, then you don't pause then uh, in the concentric phase you do it as fast as you can which is explosive repetition and don't uh, no pause afterwards so um, uh, let me put it simply um, let let's take dip for an example, dips. You start from the very top where um. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So here, dips is kind of like, dips is kind of like this, and this is my starting positions. One second, one second down. No pause. Explode up. No pause and, uh, go for the second rep. So that is uh. Uh, how uh, that is what the tempo describes. Load. Uh, the majority of my exercises are body weight exercises, so I don't I don't record the load here. But in case when I train in the gym, I have access to free weight for my uh, for, for my lower body training, and I will record the the weights I lift. Remarks would be the the the, the, the feeling, uh, something, the notes I want to uh, jot down uh, for my reference. So uh, this column, this column is very important. And the whole structure. So some of you, some of you guys may be interested in how I come up with this training, how I learn. Uh, how to program my my training and this is my textbook textbook overcoming gravity by Stephen Lowe and apart from that I also take reference from many other YouTube channels such as um, bodyweight warriors uh, um, training pal and more and more and also reddit recommended routine uh, it is not a youtube channel but it is a website you can check out the recommended routine uh literally what uh the 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 the, the word recommended routine search that and you will know what i mean and you can find a beginner uh, a beginner routine and how to progress your your exercise, your performance, how to do the warm up, they include all the essentials. So if you are interested in doing body weight training, feel free to check out Reddit recommended routine. Okay, we back to my training, training log. So let's um summarize my performance. So for the first day, first day Pull-ups, um, five sets of three, dips, three, six, rows, and I won't repeat, repeat for you, just uh, have a look. And let's take a look of the last day. Uh, for the last week, the last week with five is the load week, which is not a training week. The deload week uh, is designed for um to promote to help my recovery for the following phase so week five is not included in the training week that's why week four the 26th of january 2020 
was my last day, last training day in、uh, of phase one. So let's check out the reps, pull ups four 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 three two, and which is better, which is uh, uh, I can do more reps for pull ups compared to the first first day of phase one, which is good. Next one seven 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 dips, rows, push ups, and this. Let me check out what. Uh, uh, the exercise: back squat, glute bridge, and I think this is the pistol squat, and this is the、uh, this is the step up. And for、uh, wet ab wheels, I do some of them. Not ab wheels. Uh, for the last two exercises, I did hanging knee raises for some reps. Uh, back back extension for some reps. Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with my performance, especially my upper body training.、Uh, because for the pull ups, I can see a a pretty decent improvement,、uh, which is very I'm happy with it. However, um. There's something.、Uh, there's something.、Uh, I can come up with our our this phase of training. The first one, as you can read,、uh, the the first problem is inconsistent. Sorry, I typo here. Inconsistent lower body work,、uh, including legs and lower back, because the the whole training.、Um, Is, uh, is kind of a body weight, body weight training routine, and I, I can admit, I admin, admin what what, and for sure, um, if you want to train build a strong legs, using free weights, training your legs using free free weights would be way more efficient. Than using your whole、uh, own body weight, but、um, the inconsistent inconsistent lower body work here means that ah、uh, my because my training venue ah、uh, some、uh, may be different week to week. Sometimes I go to the gym. Sometimes I train the park. I、uh, train the park. Ah,、uh, so that. For for some days, I can I can have access to free ways to train my legs, but for some days, I can only do body weight leg exercise. So that if you look at my training log, training log, um, where where is it? Here, for example, the this day, I went to the gym so that I can do. Um,、uh, leg press and barbell deadlift, and I can recall I recorded the weights here. And for some days, such as this one, I trained in the park. Sorry. So that I can only do, uh, uh so that I could only do body weight exercises. And here I do pistol squat. Progressions,、uh, pistol squat. Although I can, right now I can't do a full pistol squat because of my poor mobility. And the second one would be step up. So here, okay. So we are done with the first problem: insufficient mobility work. Um. What I mean by that is, I always do my mobility before bed.、Um, maybe I don't know why. Maybe I just、uh, I just don't think mobility work is important, which is not the case for sure. Because in the 
in some episodes, I share with you guys my mobility routine and also share with you guys what's the major obstacles, training obstacles of of my um of my training goals or of I want to train for some movements and the major obstacles for them is my poor mobility so so that means mobility is extremely um i mean mobility training is essential to me and i should put them in the higher priority instead of putting them uh very late in a day because when uh it when i sometimes at night i uh, I w- i'm tired i don't want to do anything i want to skip i will skip some stretching and which is the last last thing i run uh, i want and besides because i stretch before night each stretching the the duration is not that long it is only about 15 to 20 seconds but ideally i want to stretch for at least 30 seconds for each uh exercise each movement that is the second problem and the third problem is con- inconsistent training equipment and venue uh just cover that long training duration because of the pull-ups okay let me explain pull-ups as i've told you is the most challenging exercise for me um because i can do high repetitions of each set i'll break break it down into five sets of some uh, uh, certain repetitions and for each set the rest time is three minutes so i take 15 minutes rest just for the first exercise the pull-ups so which takes lots of time but um there's no way to cut it down because uh pull up training is a strength training for me if i cut the rest time i cannot perform the target repetition i prescribe to myself therefore three minutes rest time for pull-ups is non-negotiable which means which makes the workout longer uh than than a than a normal workout besides because pull ups um is very challenging after doing the first few exercises i usually i usually feel not tired exhausted but um my my mental energy my motivation kind of uh you know will be lower will be less motivated therefore i will usually you know uh i will not perform well in in uh leg training lower body training which is the uh, this lower part second part of my training and to 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 do um to you know mitigate the, that kind of problem i try to add a f- three to five minutes rest kind of a mental preparation to separate between the upper body training and the lower body training and the effect uh was quite well 
and it improves a, a lot, but the training would be longer because I add the rest period to separate those category of training. And the last one would be pull up muscle imbalance, and I have shared with you guys about this problem. Therefore, in the following episode, I will talk to you guys how I modify my training and share with you guys what my facial training will look like. So stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I know this is a long episode. Bear with me uh, because there are lots, lots of stuff I want to share with you guys. And have a good one, and I will see you soon. Out.